Hey guys, let's look at some scientific notation. This is very handy stuff we're going to do today. It'll really help you with things like biology and chemistry. Um, fantastic stuff. Saxon puts in here really neat uh, to do this. So when you get a chemistry class, I mean, I, one of the things that kills you sometimes in chemistry and biology is the math. So uh, he gives you all these ways to do this a little more easily so you can not worry so much about arithmetic and all that jazz and just go on to the, the what you're doing, the experiments and the dead squids or whatever. So. Fetal pigs, mmm, we can focus on juicy stuff like that and not math. But anyway, look at this right here. You tell me the answer to these three problems, all right? How do we do these? 40 times 20, what's the, what's the, what's the trick with zeros? You just do the four times two, right? And then you go, oh, one, zero, two, zero. I mean, there you go, right? Okay, so what's the answer to the second one? What's the first number? Nine. Okay, how many zeros? Okay, four zeros, right? All right. <clears throat> Look at the last one. What, what's the, what does it start with? What numbers? Seventy-two, right? How many zeros now? Five, right? Okay, one, two, three, four, five. So you do, and there we go. Okay. Now that's that works. We know that's true. Okay. Now let's look at this. We're going to do the same thing. That's 800, not 8,000. That was a mistake. Computer error. Okay. 40 times 20 is 800 with no comma there. How do you write this in scientific notation? In other words, let's write 40 in scientific... Look, let's take this whole thing and write it right here in all scientific notation, right? Well, 40, we're going to go, that's 4 times 10 to the first, right? That's 40. Okay. Times, look at 20. What's 20? 2 times 10 to the first, right? Okay, there it is. That equals 800, okay? How do you write 800 as a number in scientific notation? It's 8 times 10 to the second, right? Okay, now look at that. Look what you've done. Look at this, and then look at this, and look at that. And we know that's true. These are We've already done this problem, okay? That is true. Look at this. Look what you can do. You've got a 1 here, you got a 1 here, and there's a 2 there, okay? Keep that in your head, all right? Let's do the second one. We just figured out 300 times 300 was 90,000, right? Let's write them in scientific notation, right? What's 300 in scientific notation? 3 times 10 to the second, right? Times, and again, 3 times 10 to the second, right? Okay, that equals, that's going to be a 9, of course, times 10 to the what? You tell me. 1, 2, 3, 4, right? Look at that. Look what happens again. I got the first number times the first number gives us that first number, and then 10 to the second times 10 to the second, 10 to the fourth. Let's try the last one. Okay, you ready? All right, 8,000 times 900 equals 7,200,000. Okay, let's write the first one. You tell me. How's that written? 8 times 10 to the third, right? Times 9 times 10 to the second, right? Okay. <clears throat> All right, that's going to give us, we can go ahead and copy it down here, right? Okay, that'll give us, just like we did on these, look at that. We went 4 times 2 is 8, and then 1 plus 1 is 2. Then we went uh, 3 times 3 is 9, then we went 2 plus 2 is 4. We're going to do the same thing. 8 times 9 is 72, that's going to be 10 to the 3rd times 10 to the 2nd, and add them together. 3 plus 2 is 5, okay? There we go, except for one thing. That we don't want this number here to be more than 10. So we'll go like that, and that'll be 7.2. And since we're dividing by 10 on this side, we'll multiply by 10. 10 to the fifth times 10 to the first is 10 to the sixth, and there we go. That's it. Now we're going to use that to do all the rest of the jazz we do today. So take a second, copy that down in your rectangle, and pause it if you need to. Okay. Now this looks super complicated. But all we need to do is make sure each part is in scientific notation and then do exactly what we did back here. Pretty cool. Okay. So let's write this. This is good. That looks good right there. I'll just copy this down here again. It's good looking the way it is. Okay. I'll just put parentheses around it too. Okay. This one, we're going to go three times. That means it's going to be a three. Times 10 to the... Now, this, this means we multiply this one, two, three, which means we're going to have to minus... 
3 from this one. So negative 4 minus 3 is going to be negative 7. Now, the answer to this would, was going to be 3 times 2, which is 6, of course, and then 10 to the negative 7th times 10 to the 20th. And all you need to do is focus on this. What's negative 7 plus 20, which is the same thing as 20 minus 7, or 13, and there you go. And you've got it. No calculator, no fiddling around for 20 minutes. You did it right there, okay? Let's try another one, okay? Pause it, write it. Okay, here's our unpause here. So we got, this is no good, one, oops, one, two, three, four, five. That's gonna give us a four. Now, since I multiply by 10 to the fifth power, I'm gonna to need to undo that by multiplying by 10 to the negative fifth power. Well, negative five plus negative five is negative 10. Boink. There we go. This one, <whistles> boop, five times, so seven times 10 to the fifth. And there you go. You tell me what's next. Okay, four times seven, right? 28. All right? 10 to the negative 10th plus times 10 to the positive 5 will be 10 to the negative 5, right? Okay, negative 10 plus 5 is negative 5. Okay, this is no good because it's not between 1 and 10. So we move this over, okay, to the left one, which means we have 2.8, which means we get to add 1 to this one. So it's going to be plus 1. Really, negative 5 plus 1 is negative 4, and you did that all just on a piece of paper right in front of yourself. Okay, all right, let's try another one. This is weird. Divide, oh, look at that horrible problem. Look, look at this jazz. Divide, the, what are you gonna do? Like, divide, oh, good, by 400,000. All right, I'm ready. Uh, uh, let's see here, point, oh, oh, yeah, forget it. Okay, forget that. We'll just divide. We'll do the same thing we did just a minute ago. Now look at this. Let's go. We can just move this all over and make it a 16 and make this a 4 and do it a real nice easy way with no nothing at all. So let's just make this, again, most of the time, since we'll do you know numbers between 1 and 10, but you know we can stretch a point here. You can see that 16 is divisible by 4. That's what we're going to work on. Okay. So let's move this over 4 times which will give us 16 times 10 to the negative fourth. You there? Okay, divide it, which means just put it over a fraction bar. We don't need to do any long division. 400,000, <whistles> that's gonna be four times 10 to the fifth power, right? There you go, okay. Now here's what's neat. When you multiply numbers like this, like we just did a second ago, let's say, negative seven, 10 to the negative seven times 10 to the 20th means you add them, right? Okay, look, see? 10 to the second times 10 to the second, 10 to the fourth, 10 to the first times 10 to the first, 10 to the second, okay? Guess what you do when you divide them? You don't add them, but subtract, right? Okay, so you can do exactly the same thing with this that you did before. You just treat these first numbers as their own, 16 divided by four, four. 10, uh, 10 to the negative fourth divided by 10 to the fifth, well, all you're gonna do is you're gonna go, okay, well, negative four minus five this time. Since we're dividing, we're gonna subtract. So negative four minus five is negative nine. There we go, you got it. That's all you do. Okay, let's try another one. All right, look at how complicated that looks. Copy it, pause it and copy it. Okay. Now this is this is about the worst we're going to do all. I mean, the best we're going to do all year long with these. But it's not that big of a deal. All you need to do is two things. You simply get this in the right format, scientific notation. Every little piece get it in scientific notation, and then multiply and divide, which really means, you know, add and subtract most of the time. So let's look at the first one. Okay, we need to move this over three times. You know that, right? Okay. So there's my seven times ten to the what? It's at negative 23, or now what's it going to be at? Okay, it'll be negative 23 minus 3, which will be negative 26. Okay, this one, you move over, Boink. that's going to be 4, of course, times 10 to the, since you moved it this way three times, we're going to add 3, so it'll be 10 to the ninth power. Okay, good enough. All right, 
Now look at the bottom. Let's go over one, two, three, oops, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, so that'll be four times 10 to the negative fifth power, right? Okay, it's a very small number. Small numbers have negative exponents. Okay, this one, three, six. There we go, that's ten, seven times 10 to the sixth power. All right, well, let's just do the top first. We're gonna do this, seven times four, 28. 10 to the negative 26 times 10 to the, to the positive nine, that means we're gonna go negative 26 plus nine, which means we're gonna go 26 minus nine, which is 17, but that'll be a negative, so there you go. That's the top. The bottom, four times seven again. Oh, this is gonna make it nice and handy, okay? So 10 to the negative fifth times 10 to the positive six, well, negative five plus six is one. There you go. The only thing left to do, just like we did on this one a minute ago, divide that, divide that. That means we're gonna do this. We're gonna divide this right here. And let me see if we can do this over here. Wait, no, I think I remember my tables. It's just one, okay. And then this one, remember what you do when you divide a, you know, 10 to the something, divided by 10 to the something, you subtract it, right? So this will be 10 to the negative 17 minus one, which is negative 18. And there you go, there's your answer. No calculator, no 300 pages of notes or all this stuff. It's mostly just addition and, and division and subtraction. Okay, here's another one. Take a minute, copy, pause it. Okay, I'm not sure if you can see this, but you can see there's gonna be a two times a four, which is an eight, and then a one times an eight, which will also be an eight. So this looks like it's gonna be eight divided by eight or one to the whatever power. So good grief, look at these gigantic numbers. Okay, don't let that intimidate you, okay? Let's mash this over one time. You move it over to the left, means we're gonna add one to that. So we're gonna have two times 10 to the negative 144th power, yoink, there we go. This one, twice, that's gonna be a four, which means we're gonna add two to this one as well. So 10 to the 22nd power, okay, that's nice. All right, done. This one, one, two, three, four, five, so that'll be one times 10 to the fifth power. This one gets moved over one, two, three, four times, so that means we're gonna subtract over here. So 10 to the negative 15 minus four is negative 19, okay? All right, now we get the fun part, okay? Two times four is eight. Negative 144 plus 22, oof, okay. That's just gonna be, don't forget, you can flip these and subtract. 144 minus 22 is 122, and that'll be a negative because that's just Bigger absolute value. Okay, this one times eight is eight. 10 to the, let's say five minus 19. In other words, 19 minus five is 14 and then negative 14, okay. Okay, now the last thing we do is just divide. Eight divided by eight, one. This divided by that, well, this is the tricky part on this one. Don't forget, we are gonna take this and we're gonna subtract this. So we are actually saying 10 to the negative 122 minus, not 14, minus negative 14, which means we add 14, okay? So we're gonna add negative 122 and 14, which means different signs. So we're gonna subtract 122 minus 14 is 108, and this has the larger absolute value, so that'll be a negative, of course, and that is a very small number. But you did it. Okay, you can do all these like this, exactly like it. You just get the method down, bam it out, you got it. Okay, all right, let's try these two and uh, pause it and try A first. Okay, well, let's look at this first one. We just move it over twice. That gives us a seven times 10 to the, and one, two, and then Oh, look at this. We're gonna move it over twice, which means we're gonna subtract two. Look at that, 10 to the zero power. Don't forget, what is what is a number to the zero power? One, right? Okay, so this is seven times one, or seven. If you're gonna multiply 0 0.07 by 100, which is what 10 squared is, what is 0 0.07 times 100? It's seven, right? Okay, we'll just leave it like this. No worries, no big deal. Okay, 
800,000, I'll move it over three, uh, excuse me, five times, so that's eight times 10 to the fifth power. Okay, there we go. Okay, this, dunk, fourth. So we have one times 10 to the fourth power. This one, good gravy. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, good gravy. Four times 10 to the negative seventh power, okay. All right, well, let's do it. Seven times eight is 56. 10 to the zero times 10 to the fifth is zero plus five. There we go. One times four, four. All right, 10 to the fourth times 10 to the negative seven. Four plus negative seven is negative three. All right, now we go here. 56 divided by four, you might have to use long division. You're gonna find out that that's 14. And 10 to the fifth divided by 10 to the negative third. Don't forget, this is going to be 5 minus negative 3, not 5 minus 3. So that's going to be 5 plus 3. It's going to be 10 to the eighth power. This is not good enough for scientific notation because it's not between 1 and 10. So we go yunk over one time, 1 1.4. And then we add 1 to that, which will give us 1.4 times 10 to the ninth. There we go. Okay. These might be slow at first for you to... to to count and it's okay. It, you just keep going at it and then you'll be zinging through really fast. And I'm telling you, you take a chemistry class or a biology class that deals with these scientific notation after this, be in good shape. Okay, all right, pause it and try B. Okay, you probably noticed this is a four times a five. There's a four times a five, so it's gonna be a one or, or you know, 20 divided by 20 in some form. Okay, so let's go twice over here. That'll be a four times 10 to the Negative nine minus two is negative 11. All right, over here we have 50, note over here, that's gonna be one. Five times 10 to the 16 plus one, 17. All right, good shape there. Okay, good, nine, one, two, three, four, five. So four times 10 to the negative fifth on this one. And then we're gonna have a one, two, three, four. Okay, so five times 10 to the fourth power here. Okay, all right. This looks pretty nice and simple here. Four times five, 20. Times 10 to the negative 11 plus 11, uh, excuse me, negative 11 plus 17 is the same thing as 17 minus 11 or six, okay? Four times five, of course, 20. And negative five plus four is gonna be negative one. All right, now we got this one. 20 divided by 20, one. Six minus a negative one is the same thing as six plus one or seven, okay? By the way, if you're ever doing these and you go, ah, I keep forgetting how to do this part right here. If you want, remember, I don't think you guys remember, but you can, um, you know, move, like if, if we say this, x to the negative third, remember how we can rewrite that, right? We can go, I'm going down here, and this is gonna turn into x to the positive third, right? Or the one there. It's the same thing here. If you want to go like this and take this and go, okay, I'm moving this up here. I can't stand looking at that thing down there. Fine, it'll turn into 10 to the, not negative one, but positive one. Well, what's 10 to the sixth times 10 to the first? That's 10 to the seventh. Same as it always was. There you go. Okay. Okay. Have a great day. See y'all next time.